Hello, friends. Welcome to Story Palette. I will tell you children's stories in Story Palette. I am the virtual kid next door and a storyteller as well. Let us begin our story session right away. Story number four, Little Tony in Egypt. Little Tony and his grandpa embarked on a thrilling adventure to Egypt, the land of ancient wonders and mysteries. Their hearts were brimming with excitement as they set foot on the sandy soil of this historic land. Little Tony's eyes sparkled with curiosity, eager to learn about the secrets that lay hidden in Egypt's ancient monuments. Under the golden sun of Egypt, Little Tony and his grandpa found themselves standing in the shadow of the Great Sphinx. Its mysterious gaze captivated Tony's imagination, and he couldn't wait to unravel the secrets held within its ancient stone. Grandpa, why does the Sphinx look so serious? Tony asked, studying the enigmatic expression on the statue's face. Well, my curious one, Grandpa began, the Sphinx has been watching over this land for thousands of years. Some say it guards the hidden wisdom of the ancient Egyptians. Tony's eyes widened with wonder. Hidden wisdom? What do you mean, Grandpa? Grandpa smiled warmly, knowing that little Tony was eager to learn. Legend has it that the Sphinx poses a riddle to all who seek its wisdom. Only those who can answer the riddle may gain access to the ancient knowledge it holds. A riddle? That's exciting! Tony exclaimed, his heart racing with excitement. Yes, indeed, Grandpa replied. Shall we see if we can find the riddle? They strolled around the massive statue, admiring its intricate details. Little Tony noticed a faint inscription at the base of the Sphinx. The letters seemed ancient, like whispers from the past. Grandpa gently brushed away the sand, revealing the riddle carved in the stone. In sands of time, my secrets lie, a riddle waits for you to try. With body of a beast and man's wise head, answer true or wisdom you'll be led. Who am I? Tony scratched his head, pondering the riddle. Hmm, it sounds like the Sphinx is talking about itself, but I'm not sure. That's a great observation, Tony, Grandpa said. The Sphinx is indeed talking about itself, and it wants you to solve the riddle to uncover the wisdom it guards. With determination in his eyes, Tony thought deeply about the riddle. Suddenly, a spark of inspiration struck him. I think I know, Grandpa. The answer is the Great Sphinx. A delighted grin spread across Grandpa's face. Brilliant, Tony. You have solved the riddle. As the last word left Tony's lips, a soft rumbling sound echoed through the air. The ground beneath them trembled, and the stone pedestal on which the Sphinx stood began to shift. Tony's heart raced with both excitement and nervousness. Before their eyes, a hidden passageway was revealed, leading deep into the heart of the Sphinx. The doorway beckoned them with an aura of mystery and adventure. Little Tony and his grandpa exchanged a look of excitement, and without hesitation, they stepped into the hidden chamber. The air inside the chamber was cool and filled with an ancient scent that tingled their senses. Torchlight flickered, illuminating the walls adorned with stunning hieroglyphics. Each symbol seemed to tell a story from the past, and little Tony's eyes widened with awe. They ventured deeper into the chamber, and soon they found a mysterious room with a single, ornate chest resting on a pedestal. Grandpa approached the chest cautiously, and as he opened it, a warm golden glow spilled out, casting a radiant light around them. Inside the chest were scrolls of papyrus, ancient artifacts, and a book bound in rich leather. Little Tony's heart skipped a beat as he saw the book's title, The Chronicles of the Sphinx. Grandpa picked up the book and began to read the first page aloud, in the beginning, when Egypt was young. A wise and kind-hearted pharaoh named Kepri ruled the land. He wanted to leave a legacy of wisdom and protection for his people. And so, he commissioned the construction of the Great Sphinx, a symbol of strength, wisdom, and eternal guardianship. 
Tony listened intently as Grandpa continued to read, uncovering the tale of how the Sphinx was constructed and the rituals performed to imbue it with the knowledge of the ages. As they delved deeper into the book's pages, they discovered accounts of brave explorers and scholars who had sought the wisdom of the Sphinx throughout history. Some had answered the riddle and gained access to the chamber, while others had failed, their hearts filled with arrogance or greed. Grandpa, why do you think the Sphinx chose us to reveal its secrets? Tony asked, his eyes filled with gratitude. Grandpa smiled, placing a hand on Tony's shoulder. Perhaps, Tony, it sensed the genuine curiosity and respect in our hearts. The Sphinx's wisdom is not for the selfish or the proud. It is for those who seek knowledge to protect and uplift others. Feeling a newfound connection to the ancient land of Egypt, little Tony and his grandpa spent hours immersed in the chronicles of the Sphinx, absorbing the wisdom of the ages. Their time in the hidden chamber felt like a fleeting dream, and as they finally stepped back into the daylight, they carried the treasure of knowledge and wonder in their hearts. As they bid farewell to the Great Sphinx, Tony looked back one last time, knowing that this experience would forever be etched in his memory. As they boarded the plane to return home, little Tony and his grandpa knew that this adventure had sparked a thirst for knowledge and discovery that would stay with Tony throughout his life. And so, the mystery of the Sphinx remained, waiting to share its wisdom with other curious souls who would venture to Egypt with open hearts and inquisitive minds ready to unlock the ancient secrets of the ages, the end. Enjoyed it? Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.